Good day, folks, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Imperium Galactica. What you might say? This is not the weekend? No? No, it's not. It's Monday! And since Homeworld 2 is finished, I thought, why actually not continue this one? Since I have put Red Alert 3 Uprising on the hold for now, I will be continuing with this. So, a little bit more for the old school people out there. A little bit more of the nostalgic value. And Imperium Galactic is actually quite long. If you uh, just put the pieces together. So this is actually, I think, a better idea to do this one now regularly. Uh, what I will do on the weekend, I have no idea yet. I will be deciding that once I have time. So for now, we are going to continue Imperium Galactica. And we're going to load this one. Because we just received the info that our flagships are finished. Production. And I want to see what I can produce other than that. Yes, of course. I can produce like 25... Uh, no, can't. Okay, let's make it... Um, 10 for the moment. Well, actually, let's produce any of these yet. We'll see what we can do later. However, I want at least one more flagship. The reason why I'm producing one more flagship will be seen quite soon. Because when I destroy the Garthok planets, I shall show you what's gonna happen. And it will be quite interesting to see what's gonna happen after that. So, are they actually equipment. maximal equipped? I think they are. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go to Gothic 4, the last bastion of the Gothic planets. Also, you should note that the stronger and the earlier you defeat the Gothic colonies, the easier the next part will become. So there are lots of colonies here around that I can colonize and will colonize, because that is exactly what we want to do. So I probably will lose some ships in the next fight, just because the enemy defenses is probably or are quite formidable at this location. But I'm not too worried about that, so let's get it on. There we go. Alright, so five fighters. Whoa, and plasma projectors. Whoa. Okay. And they're shooting bombs at us. Very well. Not too worried about that though. Right. Let's see if that thing destroys the inversion shield. There we go. Right. That should take care of the defenses quite nicely for now. Right, that didn't work out too well, but nope, don't have any bombs with me anymore. So I need to attack that base, and because of the AI, this might actually be tough. But I'll try my best anyway to do this properly. I will lose some destroyers in this fight. No doubt. And as you can see, the AI is so bad that we can't really go to this position without losing ships at all. Uh, I wanted to select the One space station more or less down. I'm not too worried about losing some of my units right now. It's okay to do that at the moment. I 
just need my flagships to divide because they have the ground forces. If they die, I have a huge problem. Alright. That looks good. That is cannon number one. And cannon number two. Lost quite a few destroyers in this battle, but I can reproduce them quite easily. No problem, really. Alright, still squeaking, and we go on to the final battle. Hopefully. I have the feeling this might not be the final battle, because first of all, they have largely made themselves clear that they will not give up that easily. And secondly, I have the feeling that this colony might be well defended. Let's not spread these tanks out too much, but leave them close by so we can go. Alright, let's first have a look at what's gonna happen. Ooh. That's. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of rocket sleds. Hmm. I think. We will not be able to do this, this time around. Three medium tanks, four medium tanks, five, six medium tanks. Wow. Six medium tanks, three heavies. And there was one somewhere else, wasn't there? No? Y yes. Five heavy tanks. Four. Five, six rockets, oh god. Six rocket sleds and five light tanks. Mm. This will be hard work. I can tell you that already. And I think we probably have to do it twice. Attack this uh, planet twice, I mean. Like that. So let's go. I suppose we won't be able to do this on the first try. I think the best is just to attack right now. Don't let them gather up. And as you can see, our tanks already get quite a lot of damage here. But I'll try to get this somehow sorted. Once the rocket sleds are destroyed, we can actually deal with the rest quite okay. Alright. I have to destroy this last one here. I can't let it live. Because otherwise it will destroy all the rest of my tanks quite easily. I don't want to avoid that. Alright, let's pull these tanks over to this side. Get these tanks a little bit rolling to the left. So they're not in range of the cannons. Okay, let's pick the weakest tanks of these. And kill them off. The less tanks they are, the better it is. Yeah, we probably... we have to attack twice. It's not gonna happen with one attack. But we did a fair amount of damage, mind you. That's the first big loss for our Imperium here. But we can take it. It's just some small tanks afterwards, and some light tanks really. And some medium tanks and a few heavies. That we can deal with quite easily. Yep, 24 tanks lost in space. 
Right, let's move back to Achilles. Production. And actually go to weapons. Stop the production of... Uh, actually, it's only one more, so... Let's finish. Produced. And then produce 24 medium tanks. There we go. Okay, tanks. And then we'll stop this for now. Because I need to stock Equipment. my fleet up. 12 more. Okay. Well, that's a lot. But we need to produce them again. Alright, 12 more of these. 10 shields. Weapons as tanks, buildings we can, so let's go. Equipment. We need to speed this up a little. Or I'm going to, anyway. Items produced. Right, that's the Production. light shield done. Meaning that we can produce the hyperdrives. We had 12 more, so that means we only need to produce 10. And the tanks are on the way. Should be done pretty soon. They need a lot of time to produce, that's for sure. But we need them. No matter what. Oh, destroyers are actually quite finished already. Which is nice. Items produced. There we go. Destroyers done. Let's continue. We shouldn't have too much trouble once we hit the produced. 24 mark Equipment. again. New ship added. New ship Let's added. add all these ships. Ship add the tanks. Right. Now, let's go through these one by one. Just want to make sure that they each have shields before we move out. And of course I've got one. Why so ever? Items produced. Items produced. Stop. Items produced. All right. Equipment. Shields. Go to the hyperdrives. <laughs> At the right hyperdrive sort, though. Alright, we need 2 plus 16 is 18 lasers for this part. And 18 plus 4, no, plus 12 equals 30. And then we've got another 40, that means 70 Production. lasers in total. Very well. 70 lasers on the way. Alright. We're back to 25. We're back in action. Equipment. Do we actually have every ship the hyperdrive for some reason? I think they're a little bit slow with 28, aren't they? No. Nope. Start. Fine. Right. Ah, oh, speed thirty. Okay. Items produced. There we go. All right. Battle number two. Bam. That's the first part done. We don't need to see the sequence again. This time around, I'm going to place them all here. Make a nice concave. Might be a better idea than rushing head in. I don't think they really have produced that much. Now, is that a rocket? No, that's a radar jammer. Or radar car? No, radar jammer. All right. This looks good. 
pull these tanks a little bit out. We're gonna lose some. But since we have destroyed all the rocket slaves on the first try, we're quite good here. Let's attack the heavy tanks now. Way tank. Didn't want to lose it though. All right. I think that's about it, really. We don't have anything else to worry about here. Let's get these these two here already low on health to attack the colony hub. And the rest can maneuver to attack the fortress. Let's pull that tank back because it's about to die. Which we don't want. Pull this tank away. It's about to die. And there goes the fortress. Just a radar car here, a radar jammer remaining. Then we have computer development center, a civil engineering development center. And that's about it. That's also one of the reasons why I take this point last. So we can have two more research centers, these two. This will help me develop technologies in the first half of the next. Actually, not the first half, the first day. Uh, the next level of rank we will gain after this battle is over. But it might be quite a good idea to have this there. So I need not to have these two buildings placed on any other planets. But we shall see about that. Right, Garthok 4 is ours, and the Garthok are defeated. Uh. <coughs> Bar the Raider Jam, and that is up here. Of course. Totally forgot about that. So much for long term memory. Ah, not getting through here. Whoa. Got you. He's not getting out of there. He is not getting out of there, but we're gonna kill him anyway. Still something remaining. And I haven't really spotted it. Um? Oh! Ha! Huh. Hiding behind the house, huh? Well, no sir. I'm not gonna let that happen. Actually, it's interesting, since we're already on the alien world, to talk about that, that all the aliens build are the same buildings than we do. Like, they have hospitals, power plants, factories, development centers, even a food factory, and so on. I wonder how that is possible, but I suppose that the galaxy is just the same everywhere, isn't it? And we've conquered Gothic 4. And now... This.
Dante, you're just in time. Let's get down to the business at hand. We have discovered new civilizations with superior development. This is our empire's largest ship, the Thorin. It's a leftover from the old empire. It's three times the size of today's largest flagships, and it's the last of its kind. You are its new commander. Good luck. We urgently need to increase the speed of our production and development processes. The other empires are more advanced than us. We need you to catch up with them. We're depending on you to help us move forward. To achieve these goals, you've been promoted to Admiral, sir. Congratulations. So, we have been promoted yet again. This time, we cannot send anything. No, we don't get anything here either. We are now on a new ship, though. On the Thorin. And for some reason, I'm looking for something. There we go. State room. State room. Now, as you can see... Um, yeah. The ship is still basically the same. As nothing has changed, it is still the same thing. Nothing out of the ordinary. So let's exit the terminal. And... No. Don't go to the bridge. Go to the bar. And talk with someone. So, what's up, dog? Uh, hey, Doc. What's up? Nothing's new. Everything's okay. Cool. Okay. Well, I heard that you know something about robots. Only when we need to sleep at night. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, do you know anything about artificial life? You know, like robots? Hmm. Robotics. Yes, I do. When I was a student, I was an assistant at the Earth Research Laboratories. But things have really changed since I was there. I heard tell that some new weapons are being developed in the center C4, but you need a VIP card to get any details. Rumors are that many robots have been made over the years. Yeah, right. Of course. Rumors are that many robots have been made over the years. Do you know anything about this? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. I heard the government stopped development a few years ago. The head of research was Professor Reinhardt. He lectured at my college. I respected him very much. I believe he stayed on as head of the research and development after the robot project was terminated. At least that's what I heard. I hear he's working on a new weapon. And if he is, I'm sure it's going to be something very significant. Mind by the way that he said he respected him. So, you don't do that now? Well... Sounds like someone I really need to talk to, right? Sounds like he's someone I really should talk to. Ah, you can reach Center C4 only if you know the secret code. They change the code every month, so I'm afraid I'm not much help. But I must talk to Reinhardt, give me... But what? Give me have the old code? Okay, we, we talk broken English then, give me have the old code! I must talk to Reinhardt. It looks like he might be the only one who has answers for me. Please, give me the old code. I might be able to use it somehow. I don't know. Okay. I'll give you the code, but don't tell anyone I gave it to you. The old code was... Alpha Z. 
Wow, really? Very imaginative. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Doc. You're the best. Local. Well, great. Okay. Anything else? Thanks a lot, Doc. Local. Nope. Nothing new. Nothing new. But Reinhardt, we know that name, Bridge. don't we? Could we do something? Indeed we could. But we're gonna do that on the next episode. However, before we conclude this one, I want to show you something. Star map. Ta-da! More stuff. More planets. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because this is not really the perspective I want to do this in. But this actually is a little bit better. Maybe this one. So we have gained four new planets. Meridan, Atchpolis, Earth, and Giantropolis. Why is that so important? Research. I can show you why. Because of this. The colonization ship. Also, before we can research that, we have to research the field array. Which I'm going to complete Research's now, started. since I already have the kind of possibilities to do that. Research completed. And now we could research the colonization ship. As you can see, we need to rearrange some of our previous posts here. We have currently the need of nine different development centers. We need to destroy all three military ones, to put up one AI, one computer and one civil engineering project, and then we're set to research the colonization ship. And once that is done, I'm going to start it anyway already, because it's quite nice to have. Ooh, lots of cash going into this one though. But it's worth it, trust me. Zip. Star map. Once the colonization ship is completed, I'm going to take care of these planets here. The Gothic ones. Quite literally. And then we're going to have a look at all the different colonies around here. So stay tuned for the next episode.